time. So that guy who outsmarted airport security and stuck it to a Virgin America flight, it wasn't the first time. Investigators saying today they found at least 10 other expired boarding passes on it. The CEO of Virgin America telling me moments ago, no passengers were ever in danger. The gentleman did go through the TSA line and he was screened along with everyone else. So uh, he cleared that that process. The aircraft is a sterile uh, aircraft that we search the aircraft every morning. So, you know, there are other levels of redundancy that the public doesn't necessarily know about uh, that basically made sure that that was a safe flight. So while there are a couple of them that were very visible to the public, uh, you know, there were others that were not so visible that were in effect. So I, I would say that the flight was a safe flight and the system worked. Well, it might have been sterile. It didn't mean it didn't stink. The TSA also says that it thoroughly screened the man. Apparently, they just failed to smell the dude because he apparently reeked. He smelled so bad, he created a ruckus on the plane. A lot of people say, hey, get this guy. Anyway, apparently not before he got on that plane, though. Vincent Ferduccio for the Competitive Enterprise Institute says that is because TSA types are far more focused on unionizing than protecting. There's still so much, Vincent, we don't know about what went on here. Um, but the fact of the matter is the guy got through uh, and he got through a, a couple of times. Uh, you say that's because TSA agents are distracted or what? Oh, well, first, Neil, you have to admit, I mean, this story just really stinks. Any way you look at yes. it, it just absolutely reeks. And it doesn't pass yeah, it, the smell test. It really does not pass the smell no. test, no. So this guy, he has an expired pass. It was for the day before. It was not even under his name. Doesn't even have a government ID. Gets past TSA. What are they doing? Well, it looks like they're probably more concerned about um, this union organization election that just went on, which, by the way, only a quarter, a quarter of the 40,000 TSA workers voted to join AFSCME, the new union. And guess what? Now there's security breaches. I mean, it's not the union's fault, but it just serves as one more distraction. While these guys need to be focusing on nothing more than national security and not on what John Gage wants to do and get more dues money out of them. All right. Let's say they were to unionize, though. Once they get past the hump of organizing and they are organized, then everything should presumably be back to normal. And they're policing this. You say that would be in question once they unionize because of all the restrictions and the limitations that unions put on management or what well no yeah well first of all they have unionized they just had the election uh about less than nine thousand of the forty thousand employees voted for afki but uh that was enough to get them in and well, I, I was now, told that that's not necessarily definite though that doesn't mean that all of them are you're saying that by the results of that vote all of them will be they are all represented but not all of them have to join okay. so that's, well, what, continue, that's what the continue difference is your thought there Okay, so the, guess what the first thing, Neil, that uh, the president of AFKI wants? He wants to get rid of the, uh, the performance and accountability standard system. Performance and accountability, that's the first thing that they're starting to fight to do away with as a union. Yeah. And you tell me, is this going to make the skies more safer? Do you know, Vincent, had this dude taken a shower, no one would have ever, ever spotted him. <laughs> it's true. Well, maybe TESA was too scared to frisk him because he smelled too bad. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I was for everyone who says that it wasn't just someone who smelled it was someone who was like off the charts. But anyway, Vince, I know I love this show. Uh, Vincent, thank you very much, buddy. Good seeing you. Hey, thanks for having me on. All right. Uh,